What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Formia, back it again with another YouTube video. So, today, I'm just going to start off with a vlog. Um, I might add a gym vlog in here, too, so just stay ready for that one, because a lot of y'all been asking me. And I'm going to just, you know, get ready. I might hit the gym in a bit. I don't know what I'm going to do today, but it's going to be exciting. I'm going to make sure I'm going to add some tips in here for you, my gym tips. Because a lot of y'all ask me about it, and it seems like no matter how many times I answer your questions, it's just not enough. And if you hear construction in the background, don't mind it. Or my dog barking, don't mind it. Because my house is under maintenance for a lot of things. Okay, so let's get started. I want to show y'all this camera tripod that my boyfriend got me and this is only for iphone since most of the time i do my vlog on my phone because the camera is way better than my canon eos m50 because i don't even know how to play with the settings plus i'm waiting on my macbook that i'm gonna get soon to get the the editing app that comes with it so yeah so this is the tripod he got me let's say i can't afford a cameraman right so this literally a cameraman on a tripod so let's say you are moving away from your camera but you want that camera to follow you so this is what it does like this thing right here will literally just follow you like that like on its own like it's a robot it just recognizes your face and it's gonna put in that movement for you so i'm gonna put this on and show y'all what i'm talking about so now that it's tracking my face it's on i set it to be like that if i move my face it literally is like it's so cool like it tracks where I'm going so let's say I'm just going down like this it tracks that going up is not cool laying down okay like it's so cool y'all and look if I sit down it goes back down if I move left right it tracks it's kind of creepy i'm not going to lie to you because i feel like someone's behind the camera that's controlling it but at the same time it's all electronics these days so advanced electronics and it's so cool like it's a bad cool like it just exposed my whole room love it okay so one of today's tasks is getting my makeup done for a passport picture i've been seeing this trend a lot and i wanted to try because i always look busted in my passport picture and that's a no-no because i'm about to travel august 3rd to go see my dad to vietnam okay so this is the makeup look that i want to look for it's like a uk look that everybody does no i do not have brow gel and i'm kind of scared to use a got to be glue on my eyebrows but i'm gonna try that today so since i have nothing on my face i'm just bare today i'm gonna use this kind of guide right here where you put the concealer on your forehead and your um your under eyes and your chin and stuff like that my concealer is kind of too light for my skin this is the mac 24 hour uh fix studio look so you do forehead i haven't worn makeup in a long time child okay that's kind of weird and you do your under eyes you do ooh, and you do uh, do you even use a brush or do you use uh, a sponge so i guess you do more right here that looks pretty accurate i don't think it could get any more accurate than that i'm gonna add a little bit of this brown shade i'm gonna use a brush just because because sponge take away the makeup just add a dot to everything because these are yeah i suck at makeup now guys okay i'm gonna try so i'm gonna use my under eye brush first this is kind of scary I think it just lifted up my face a little bit more than what my natural face is. I don't have droopy eyes. I have good slanted eyes, but it kind of lifted up my cheek as you can tell. That's kind of cool. It's like a natural makeup look. Okay. Not bad so far. Not bad. Not bad. 
so just yeah, i have the anastasia this is expensive too i i be having makeup that i don't even wear and i forgot that i have it so this is the anastasia glow kit see brand new haven't even used so it's been there for like i don't know for how long but it's not expired i'm sure because i got it like in march which is i don't know what what it is but they said um they say to use some on i don't know what color to use should i use pink no i'm gonna use the summer color so the summer color you're supposed to use yeah i'm kind of nervous on your cheekbone okay cheekbone i mean i don't see a difference a lot of you ask me what protein powder do i use for my protein shake so i use the 100 percent whey protein six star brand y'all can take a screenshot of that this is only 20 bucks in Walmart, but it is 60 grams of protein per two scoops. So each scoop you do is like 30 grams, which that's pretty good because not a lot of whey protein has 30 grams of protein in it. So this is the best brand so far that gave me that gains. So it does have 13.4 grams of BCAAs per scoop, which is pretty good. And I noticed that there's some vitamins in here too. So shout out to this brand it's the best brand ever so i'm gonna show you how i do it a cup of milk and then you're going to use a scoop so. like electric thing that i bought off of amazon it works pretty amazing to mix it so i make it does its job I put it in my Amazon store so y'all can buy it, but it does its job. I'm gonna take all this powder. So a lot of people, you know, you're working out, you're like, how come my results isn't coming in so the main factors are is because you keep working out on an empty stomach so every time you know i work out i always want to make sure i have a either a protein shake or a yogurt before i work out because it's at least 20 grams or 30 grams of protein before you work out uh, you don't want to work out on an empty stomach because you're actually burning calories while you're working out and also you're building muscle and as you're building muscle those muscles need to absorb some type of protein so you want to have you know protein inside of you as you're working out so those muscle could absorb it and you can grow your glutes faster but what i'm trying to say is you don't want to eat a full meal before you work out because you can throw up after that so you want to eat after so what i do is i have a protein shake as what i'm doing right now before i work out and then after i eat a full meal and then you know just give it a rest go have a little nap after your you know your workout i always have a little nap after my workout because my body recovers faster so that's literally the major factor why you're not gaining your results faster than you want it to be so always have enough calories inside of your body and protein to have better results so yeah learn from the best since my boyfriend isn't going to be at the gym today i'm gonna just look basic because i don't gotta look good for nobody but him so only dressing up when you know i'm with him or around him but this is how my leg muscle look like and my glutes just a little show off you know what i'm saying okay let's get going so right now i'm on the way to the gym right now and um when i tell you i look like a criminal in my passport pictures because i told y'all that i would show y'all once i get it i look like a criminal i look like i kill people for a living like why they said you can't smile i mean what can i do like i look like a criminal like what i couldn't even smile i couldn't even like you know kind of lower down my eye. like they say it's straight face and this was my straight face this is my poker face i look so mean like i look like i kill people for a living but let's go we're on our way to the gym and yeah let's get going so now we just arrive at the gym look at my skin boo 
Shout out to my skin brand. Foreign Skin is dropping July 30th, so in about two more days. Make sure y'all go check that out on July 30th, 2022 for this glowing skin. If you want glass skin, get you some, you know, foreign skin. But anyways, a lot of y'all ask me what gym I go to. It's the best gym ever. It got all the machines you could ever think of. And the staff here are pretty amazing. The only bad thing is it's always packed AF, even though that subscription is so expensive, but it's always packed. Trust me. If we have Equinox down here, I would totally be down for that. But Lifetime is an A-OK gym. I love it, though. But yeah, let's get in there. Love y'all. So I'm going to answer most of my common questions as I'm working out. I get a lot of questions like, how come I've been working out for a while and haven't seen any progress? Well, I believe that when you're working out that long and you haven't seen any progress, it's because of your eating habits, right? Mainly it's because of your eating habits. And some of us are familiar that when you first start the gym, the first three months, you see a lot of progress, you get that pump in. But after that three months, you know, you hit a plateau. And a plateau is pretty common. We call it a newbie phase. It's like the first accomplishment that you made at the gym. So now you have to do something to keep that progress going to reach your body, like your goal body or your body goals. Yeah, body goals. So what I'm saying is when I was 127, I stayed for 127 for about two months straight. It was a plateau that I hit. You know, my workout didn't really get any effectiveness for my glutes or my thighs. So Trent told me that, okay, babe, you need to start trying different workouts. And I tried that, you know, tried to have four meals a day again. And I did that. And I literally exit my plateau phase. You just got to work harder and eat harder. I know it's hard for some people, but you have to try to change your eating habits and your exercise routine and at first i was like you know what i found my first good five exercise and i'm gonna keep it that way but i realized your muscle getting used to those routine over time and it's not gonna get sore anymore so you're not gonna get any progress but once you change up your routine over time your muscle is gonna learn those routine and it's gonna start showing more results so I'm not sure if a lot of y'all are familiar with this, but I think I learned it the hard way. Is that if you increase your weights and lower your reps, that wouldn't give you any effectiveness to your muscle group that you're working out on or show any better results. But if you decrease your weights and have higher reps, you will see your results way much faster. And I tested that out because Trent always tell me that. And literally the next day when I tell you I couldn't walk and I... It got my ass sore and I could even sit down. Like, you have to try that. So this is for all my underweight girlies or guys if y'all subscribe to me. But if you're underweight, you want to eat at least four meals a day. So wake up from 5 in the morning and working out at 5 to 7 in the morning and having your breakfast at 8 in the morning. That is the perfect time to have breakfast. So that way you leave room for other meals throughout the day. So have breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning, lunch at 12 in noon, and then have another third meal from 5 in the afternoon to 6-ish in the afternoon, and then have your dinner at 8 to 9. That way you can have four full meals throughout the day. And, you know, a protein shake in the morning and a protein shake at night. You will get so much better results for this, so trust me, try it and try to keep it consistently for seven days a week. And another bonus is that you might have a better performance throughout the whole day and it will set you in a better mood. So now we are done working out. This is my body. Okay, so this is what I look like right now. And I have my Target on. Don't you love it when it's super Target, not just a regular Target? So I love country strawberries.
So I just hop out the shower. I didn't wash my hair because I want to go to sleep early today. Whenever I wash my hair is whenever I have time to, which is most likely every day, just not today. Don't think I'm dirty, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and wash my face, take off this light makeup with Sun Jung. I don't know if I ever say it right, but I think that's how you say it, just a dime size. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this makeup off. It's like a foam cleanser. The pH balance is only 5.5, so that's really good for you because you don't want it to be more than 5, 6.5 or 5.5, no more than that because that will literally dry out your skin. pH, pH balance is very important to the skin, and a lot of people don't realize that, but if, if you're going over 6.5, you're gonna dry out your skin and you're gonna mess up your skin barrier. So I always keep around the 5.5 area, not even 6.5, because my skin is just naturally dry already. So I don't think I would need, you know, extra pH balance, but yeah, the lower the better. with my bun I'm gonna redo this hold on So now this is what I'm going to eat for dinner, my steak and my protein shake. And there you have it. I hope y'all like it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed my vlog. It wasn't that much today, but yeah, love you guys. Mwah!